Hi, if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in why is some technology potentially de-skilling dyslexics for study? My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and I've created the transformational smart wisdom next generation note taking and planning technique. I've been helping people to manage knowledge more effectively for the past 20 years. I'm actually dyslexic myself. I didn't know I was dyslexic until my late 40s. So I went through certainly the first part of my education without any technology at all. It didn't exist. And then in my mid thirties, I went to university. And because I had no idea I was dyslexic, I knew I struggled studying, that was for certain. I didn't know that I was actually dyslexic, so I wasn't given any technology as such. Now this year I actually took, and the reason why I wanted to share this video with you, um, is that I took a sabbatical this year from working with clients. I saw a few clients, but I really wanted to understand why the technique I developed, Smart Wisdom, was so powerful when compared with, say, note-taking or using a laptop or what other, whatever other techniques people use for managing information real-time. And it was only when I really thought about it that it suddenly dawned on me that potentially some of the technology that's been given to people who have dyslexia is actually de-skilling them. It's de-skilling them when they're studying and then when they go into the workplace. And there are two bits of technology that I thought of in particular. Um, I'll share what they are and, and why. So the first is the voice recorder. It's a very powerful piece of equipment. Um, I use one quite a lot for my work. Uh, I sometimes use it when I'm uh, dictating a document for it then to be described into text and it's really useful. But where I think it's not valuable is for using it as the sole means of capturing information, say in a lecture. Because essentially you're sitting there, you're relying on a device, you're gonna forget a, what, a lot of what you've heard and at some point you've gotta go back to this device and listen again. You're doubling up on time. The next piece of technology that I think has potential to de-skill dyslexics is the laptop because essentially the laptop is a recording device. You're using a 2000 year old recording technique, which is record verbatim or part verbatim um, in letters, in sentences or part sentences. And essentially you're recording it to use at a later point in time. Now, the reason why I think the laptop de-skills us is because what's crucial is, and for me what's really crucial is to be able to at the point that I'm listening to information to increase my understanding to a really high level so I can filter it, I can structure it, and I can walk out of whatever it is, the lecture um, or the presentation with a really high level of understanding. I don't wanna to have to try and do that later on because that means later on I can focus on either getting more relevant information in or on revision. It saves me a huge amount of time. So in order to be able to do this high level of processing, I need a technique for processing and managing information. And writing verbatim or part verbatim or doing the same on a laptop, it, that is not it. And I'll show you what I mean. And it's really simple. So for a technique to process or manage knowledge, the first thing is you need to be able to filter what you listen to, and then you need to be able to break it up and restructure it. Really simple. So if I look at uh, the information here, there is a need to find one good approach to help improve understanding and to help increase confidence. The information I would keep here is I'd need one good approach to improve understanding and probably increase confidence. That is for me all the key information which I can I want to take out. The rest I'll just let fade away. And then when I take that information out, then I restructure it. So I go need 
one. Good approach. Um, improve understanding. And increase confidence. Now you'll notice I've abbreviated words because that just increases speed. As dyslexic, it means I don't have to worry about the spelling. But this simple approach means that the level of understanding and concentration of focus I have goes up enormously. And this makes a huge difference for me because this means that I can walk out of that lecture knowing that I've understood whatever has been talked about. So I feel more relaxed, I feel more confident. And for myself as a dyslexic, that is really important. Now this has been tested by cognitive neuroscientists and they found that people with dyslexia who use this uh, technique, after a, a year or so of using it, their understanding of information real time, 23% above what non-dyslexics can achieve. 23%, so it goes from 64% up to 87%. A game changer for us. So my recommendation for you, if you're given a recorder and a laptop, they're fantastic. The key is to use them in the right place. But for understanding information real time and being able to be totally involved and be interested and feel more confident, my personal belief is a technique for managing knowledge real time is a game changer. I'd recommend you use a technique like this. The key thing is single units of knowledge, reconnect them in a structure that makes sense to you. If you don't know of anything uh, similar to this, then please do you know, come on board, learn smart wisdom, that would be amazing. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, you know, if you've liked it, please do click like, obviously comment. And if you know of anyone who's dyslexic or anyone who's passionate about helping dyslexics, then please do share this video with them. Because for us as dyslexics, it makes the difference quite literally between night and day. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a brilliant rest of the day. Ah, one final thing is that somewhere around this video at the top, sides or down below, you'll find a link to some more free tips on how to manage information effectively. Thank you.